Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. Today we are going to Spain. <laughs> I mean, figuratively, uh, because the object is to take a look at Alix and its leading HIV therapeutic vaccine candidate named HTI. And friends, I'm always happy to know that my work is helping many people whose lives HIV has touched. However, my retirement dreams were <laughs> to have some fun creating uh, videos for YouTube. Uh, I never expected that it was going to be so hectic. As you all know, this is a heavy topic. Uh, HIV is a heavy topic. And as a non-medical person, I am putting in a lot of efforts uh, and work studying before I can make a video. After that, I have to record in English and Hindi and then edit the videos, create thumbnails, etc. and upload these videos. And not to mention the fact that my whole purpose of starting the channel was to do uh, genomic investment uh, technical analysis, which I do six days a week. So here are a few things that you guys can do to help me maintain motivation and continue to produce HIV videos that you seem to like so much. The first thing you could do is please do not ask me when a HIV cure will come. The ballpark is 2026 and beyond. So I don't want to have any more questions in the comment section saying uh, when will HIV cure come. The second uh, thing I would request is do not ask me if this vaccine is therapeutic or a cure. I have already said that this particular vaccine that we are discussing today, uh, Alix uh, vaccine, is a therapeutic vaccine. Okay, so I don't want to see any questions there. And the third and the most important thing you can do to help me out and um, keep my motivation going is to sign up for Patreon. Even at the basic tier, if you sign up to show your appreciation for the work I'm doing here, that would be great. I just need around 50 Patreons to keep this going because I would soon need to have to farm out work to people uh, so that I can do the production because it's becoming too hectic for me. And there is only a whole lot of uh, other vaccines that we have still got to talk about. I'll, I'll talk about that at the end of this video. There are two or three more really good uh, vaccines, which are all in clinical trials in advanced stage that we did not know about before. And I have to learn right from scratch about how the vaccine works and everything. And then you'll ask me questions and I have to prepare for it. So uh, that's the reason why I think uh, it's very important that you guys take Patreon seriously or else maybe in the next couple of months I'll start winding down my HIV coverage So because I just want to enjoy my retirement as well. And this is a heavy topic. And before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to a friend of the show, Inf, who has already signed up for Patreon, though he's interested only in genomics investments and not HIV content. So thanks, Inf. Your, uh, your support is much appreciated. And with that said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Alix Therapeutics is a Spanish biotech company, and the reason we are talking about them today is because they have a success story going on with their HIV vaccine candidate in the phase 2A clinical trials. Uh, I would like to give a shout out uh, to a friend of the show, Birgit, who uh, brought this uh, therapy to my attention. So thanks, Birgit, on behalf of everybody else who is watching this video today. Friends, Alix uh, Therapeutics was uh, founded by uh, two co-founders. One of them is uh, Christian uh, Brander, who is a PhD. He's also the chief scientific officer. And the other one is Jordi Neville, who is the co-founder and uh, executive director of Alix. And they have only one item in their pipeline, which is the HTI vaccine, uh, as far as I can say. And um, they have been uh, doing uh, multiple phases of clinical trials. They have tried up with uh, Gilead, as I'm going to explain as we go ahead uh, uh, further. This is, a, this is a private company and um, uh, as such, um, their fin finances and um, other things are not known to us. Similar to Exition Bio, uh, we may not get to know uh, on an ongoing basis what is the progress they are making with their therapy. So we'll have to search high and low for this. However, the good news is that uh, with Gilead as a partner, they are likely to get a lot more uh, uh, financial support in order to progress this further. And uh, in terms of partners, right, they have a whole lot of uh, partnership. Uh, Iris Kaixa uh, AIDS Research Institute uh, is also on their team. And then we have a whole lot of others. Alix Therapeutics is supported by EIT Health. EIT Health is supported by EIT, a body of European Union. And uh, it's also supported by Spanish government. Uh, and um, uh, I can't read the Spanish out here, but it seems to be a European Union institution and also supported by uh, agencies for funds. So there's a whole lot of uh, European Union support out here. 
and also by some capital investment uh, uh, program of uh, EU, CDTI. So uh, there's, there's plenty of uh, partnerships out here to keep them afloat, and uh, they seem to be doing a uh, pretty good job so far. So in October 2018, ALIX announced that it had established a clinical collaboration agreement with uh, Gilead Sciences under the framework of that agreement. ALIX uh, 003, um, uh, ALIX second clinical trial was started. As ALIX is a private company, we do not know the terms of the agreement or the milestone payments. And of course, frankly, we are not even interested in the milestone payments because we don't have any shares and uh, it's not going to benefit us in any way. But the interest we would have in this alliance with uh, uh, Gilead is that Gilead will continue to pay them money uh, to keep them afloat to do this uh, particular vaccine, which is of interest to the entire community. The clinicaltrials.gov uh, identifier for this study called ALIX-003 is NCT-04364035. I'll put that in the description so that you can always go and have a look at that and um, get more information for yourself. And it was first posted on um, uh, on the site on April 27, 2020, and the last entry was on August 2, 2021. As per milestone dates, the Phase 2A trial was to end on 23rd of December 2022, and we were waiting for results. It seems that we may have some information available now, and the information is positive. First, let us talk about the trial details. The trial involved 57 participants and was termed randomized, double-blind, and placebo-controlled. Let's unpack this whole thing. Randomization is the process of assigning patients by chance to receive the uh, different treatments. In the simplest trial design, the investigational group receives the new treatment and the control group receives the standard uh, treatment. A double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial is a medical study involving human participants in which neither company nor patient knows who is getting uh, what treatment and placebo are given to a control group. And basically, as lay people, we can understand that systems were put into place for this particular trial so that no one with beneficiary interest was able to manipulate the outcome of the study. As a result, the outcome of this study should be considered quite reliable. ALIX-003 aims, uh, aims to investigate the tolerability, immunogenicity, and uh, efficacy of a regimen containing ALIX Therapeutics uh, HTI T-cell vaccine uh, for HIV and Gilead's toll-like receptor 7 or TLR7 agonist vesatolimod in HIV-infected uh, uh, individuals on and antiretroviral therapy. Even though therapeutic vaccines have not succeeded in the past, ALIX thinks that it could succeed by hitting regions of the virus that are targeted by patients who are naturally uh, uh, able to control HIV. It's based on the observation that T cell responses to certain HIV regions are enriched in individuals with enhanced control of their HIV infection. They got positive proof of their hypothesis when the data from phase two ALIX-003 study suggested that patients receiving the vaccine uh, combo were, likely, uh, were less likely to experience a rebound in viral load versus those on placebo. This was tested by interrupting antiretroviral therapy for 24 weeks. Plasma viral load was monitored weekly and the therapy was resumed if the viral load went above a predetermined threshold. Of the 30 vaccine uh, 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 combo treated uh, patients, when I say vaccine combo treated, I'm talking about uh, the HTI vaccine and uh, Gilead's uh, TLR7. 33% uh, of the patients uh, remained off retroviral therapy for over 24 weeks versus 24 of 24% uh, of those that were on uh, placebo. So, so there was definitely a 9% uh, uh, improvement in those who were treated by the HTI combo. The company is also waiting on their BN, uh, BCN03, which is a single site randomized double blind placebo controlled phase one study to evaluate the safety, tolerability, immunogenicity and efficacy of a vaccine regimen that includes a sequence of the uh, T and B cell immunogens before deciding next steps. Though these results are positive, there is a need for more improvements to get reliable results. ALIX is now making plans to raise more money to conduct more sophisticated programs to achieve even better results. Further, I have come across more companies working on HIV therapies and functional cures. When I came across the Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections, or CROI, 
for 2023 it, it in which not only alix was presented but also uh, two more were presented immunocore and uh, corvus uh, also presented their findings for their own vaccines and therapies guys to review all these other candidates and to keep track of all the therapies we spoke about earlier is a tall order along with my original genomic investment contents I will need to very soon hire people and your subscription to Patreon will help me to do that as as and when I need without that support I will be unable to continue at this pace and level of responsiveness I hope you guys understand and do not um, take this the wrong way I would wish you to have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you next on Friday and uh, one of you is uh, very keen to hear the story of Professor Rama Rao and I think I have already postponed you for 2 weeks so I'm going to talk about Professor Rama Rao and then I'll uh, talk about uh, Immunocore and uh, Corvus and their candidates which are also in uh, clinical trials so that's what I would like to say and friends before you leave uh, please uh, click on the link below in the description at least go and visit the patreon page and have a look at uh, all the three tiers that I have for offer it's very interesting for you I made sure that you get something for uh, getting into the patreon and I look forward to see you there thanks and have a great day bye for now